Welcome to Ghost Diver, my name is Davide and today we speak about breathing. There are four individual diving skills, breathing, buoyancy, trim and propulsion. Those individual skills are the ones that you need to move and operate underwater. Like a chain reaction, your breathing technique is going to influence your buoyancy, which is going to influence your trim, which consequently is also going to influence your propulsion techniques. Today we focus on breathing and how it's going to influence your buoyancy and in the next videos we are going to see buoyancy trim and propulsion. I want to tell you why a proper breathing technique is important. We all went to the phase where we think that we should breathe less and less, we should consume the less amount of air possible to don't bother our uh, bodies uh, because uh, we want to be able to die for two hours. No, absolutely not. The most important thing you can do for yourself is to breathe better, not less. There are three factors that we have to consider for a proper breathing technique, which are the oxygenation of our brain and muscles, which depend on the physical effort that we're doing at that moment. For example, if you have to zoom against the current, you need to breathe more than what you usually do in a safety stop. Secondly, we must handle the CO2 retention caused by a uh, higher partial pressure. And the third aspect is you want to avoid that your breathing is going to accidentally influence your buoyancy. Here we are taking in consideration our breathing pattern if we are relaxed, like doing a safety stop or if you are swimming slowly. And uh, uh, when I write here breathing at the surface, also consider this is how you breathe if you would be just standing or walking slowly, okay? So uh, we're speaking about a comparable physical effort. At the surface, like now, we breathe in roughly for two to three seconds, exhale for two to three seconds, and then we have a little pause of about one second uh, before we start to breathe in again. Let's have a look at the blue line, underwater breathing. Speaking about the volume, we are going to ventilate the same amount of air that we would at the surface with the difference that this time we want to use less of our total lungs volume. Basically, we have to exhale more than we are used to and inhale less than you're used to to be able to ventilate the same amount of gas. Speaking about the timing, we breathe in roughly average three seconds. So it can be two or can be five. Uh, we exhale between two to five seconds, so same story, the average is three. And super important, we have to extend our uh, natural breathing pause from one second that we do at the surface to uh, three seconds underwater. Let's have a look how our underwater breathing is going to take in consideration the three factors that we mentioned before. Because we ventilate the same amount of uh, gas, we definitely have enough oxygen to oxygenate our body and our muscles. We do have, for most of the time, less gas in our lungs and at the surface. So we are reducing the concentration of CO2. When you inflate your BCD, you don't adjust your depth immediately. There is an average delay in your buoyancy control of about 3 seconds. The same timing that we have for our breathing pattern. 3 seconds we inhale, 3 seconds we exhale, and 3 seconds we wait. Here I'm representing the breathing of the uh, average diver who learned that has to breathe deep and slow, which means absolutely nothing because we have to measure how much we are breathing. So what happened? He's breathing in and out like a cow giving birth, basically, okay? Look how much gas is ventilating, and there is basically no pause in between. This means that the buoyancy of this diver is gonna be constantly negative, positive, negative, positive. Basically, it's gonna go up and down up to one or one and a half meter every time he's ventilating. This means that his breathing pattern is accidentally affecting his buoyancy. Here we have our advanced breathing pattern. What we have to do is to set our BCD neutral when our lungs are almost empty during the natural pose. When I breathe in for 3 seconds and out for 3 seconds, I won't have time to go up because I am within my delay. So the diver who breathes like this, his buoyancy is going to be like this. It's straight. 
It doesn't move of one inch when you breathe in and out or waiting, okay? Underwater, we have to focus on the feeling, how we feel our body. The Velcro strap on your belly or the webbing uh, of your uh, waist strap, they hold you from sinking. You breathe in and out inside your BCD. Every time you have to go up or down more than that much, inflate and deflate your BCD. Forget about doing everything with your lungs because otherwise still you go back to retain a lot of CO2, you're gonna consume more than you need to, and uh, trust me, be proficient with your BCD. So that's everything for today. Uh, thank you for watching, uh, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video, guys.